all the birds, mammals, frogs, lizards, and snakes whose lives come together on a tree during its lifetime can be easily tallied, but all the smaller creatures that establish their lives on that tree are countless. The small hidden creatures among the tree's leaves, limbs, and roots are not only the ones that have the greatest impacts on the lives of trees, but also the ones about which we often know the least. We can think of each tree as a community where creatures are caught in a web of interactions that links them to each other and to the tree in which they live. Hi, how you doing? This web of interactions involves coexistence, cooperation, and competition among the members of the community. Those are special ants. Okay. They're predators on the Yeah, you can try them there. Oh, and here comes a... Centipede? A, yeah, a stone centipede. There are different types of centipedes. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be so fun. Who are you? Leave me alone. I'm an ant. Is that a tick right about in the middle? No, these are all... There are no ticks in here. But he looks ticks, like a tick. I'm not a tick. Ticks and mites are related. Okay. That's a spring tail, and these are predatory mites. Oh, there's a, a feather wing beetle, the smallest of the beetles. There oh, there he is. Chasing, chasing, chasing. There he is. You probably, if you were to see, well, I'm looking right at him, not on the camera, you wouldn't even notice him. He's so tiny. He's not big like the spiders we normally see. Oh, and yeah, these ants yeah. look absolutely huge, but they're not even as big as ants we normally see. There is the edge of the dime. Oh, these are neat. Oh yeah. They're they're covered with waxy scales. Can yeah. They're called orthozoid scales, and they're they're pl they suck. They have beaks instead of jaws. Yeah. So these feed on the roots, Lisa. Uh huh. They're sap suckers. He's like a, a turtle or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. And those plates are wax.
you can see some of these leaping. See how they jump off the off the surface? Watch them. There. Oh, they're spring tails. Wow. Watch, watch oh, that's the, okay because they're springing off the surface. I see that. Okay, now I just saw another one. This yeah, the they sort of like appear and disappear. Yeah, they just kind of creep along. I didn't notice that so much on yeah, the other tray. Them, watch them. Wow. Pop. They pop. They're like little ghosts. They pop in and out. Yeah. Interesting. Oh. That, I think that's a tiny pseudoscorpion. With the I long, think, long antennas. Don't, no. Well, I can't. I this, mean, this little guy? It's so tiny. Yeah. No, that's a spring tail. Okay. Yet, yet those are antennae. The pseudoscorpion has its four legs Big that are long. They, okay. they, they move around like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, they, like they pull themselves. Well, but not this guy. That's an, that's the mite. Or yeah, you right. Thought it, that looked like a tick. Right. That had the fungus going yeah. on the filaments. And this is the one that closes up like a clam. Mm -hmm. And there's the one with the the little flaps on. Yeah, they the they both look like they have this design on their backs. Is that just a the reflection of it's the? It's a reflection. Yeah. Okay, they're that's shiny. Not, yeah, that's not part of. It's like it's the reflection slip. of the lights. It's yeah. not a design we, on his back. I have drawings of a lot of these, so if you know, we could use those in combination. Oh yeah, and definitely. When I was teaching science, I tried to get my students to draw what they saw under the microscope to try to emphasize observation. Oh, I, I such agree a critical entirely. Skill. They would learn far more if they just sat down and sketched what they, they don't have to be good drawings, but just look. You know, I discover so many new things when I just sit and draw. It's a fly larva. Mm -hmm. There's its mouth parts. Okay, because it, yeah, okay. That's a, that's a, a, a case bearing leaf beetle. Its head is flat, so it it makes a case out of its droppings and it sheds skin mm -hmm. and you see it moves along to the case it's completely protected because its head acts like a she has pulled itself in like a turtle does yeah like a turtle and it's flat so it completely fills the hole so nobody can get inside the case sit real quiet now because yeah and ah, a, yeah did you see him reach out for yeah. that guy that that guy is uh, has uh, piercing mouth parts too it's a true bug mm -hmm. like a stink bug but mm -hmm. it's a predator and it fe probably feeds on these little spring tails so, so the blood so the spring tails are not predators no 
there. The ones that pop in and out. All of the springtails are decomposers. See that little tiny, oh tiny? My. What is that? That's a mite. Oh, that's a, that's a rogue beetle. Mm -hmm. That's a predator. There we go. That's a rogue beetle. He doesn't, and he doesn't like being on camera. Lisa, this, this is a family of beetles. It's um, been extensively studied by people at the Field Museum. There he goes. Um, and they've identified over 80,000 species in the world. Mm -hmm. Talk about a diverse family. Mm -hmm. 80,000. I think it's the most, it has more species than any other beetle family. Well, and there's so many that are still undescribed. Mm -hmm. I'm, I would be willing to bet that there are species on here that have not been described by any scientist. How many, how many mite experts or springtail experts are there in the world? Not too many. And, oh, there's a rove beetle, a different species. Look at his shiny mm -hmm. uh, wing covers. He's pretty. Mm, copper, and, copper color. Yeah. Oh, that's a thrips. Thrips, okay. It, it's a it's a group. It's a whole order of insects, um, mm -hmm. the Thysanoptera, and the singular of trips is trips. The singular and plural is the same. Hmm. And these these are fascinating in their own. They're they're asymmetric. They they have asymmetric mouth parts. Um, mm -hmm. But they're they have sucking mouth parts, and some of them are predators. This guy's probably a decomposer. He's probably chewing on fungi down there. Mm. So. Hey, look at me. I'm a big guy. <laughs> That's this one with a spot on him. Oh, that looks like an aura battered mite, yeah. I don't know if that's part of his body or just a piece. It looks like it's it's place so that it looks like it's part of his body. That's what I was they thinking. have little glands on their their back surface um, that repel pr uh, predators. So that's, it could <laughs> be a gland that it does it. So they're little mites that are the same diameter as, as the hair. Mm -hmm. And there's the hair right there. Yeah. And in forensics, that, they do hair analysis. That is one-tenth of a millimeter, if you know how tiny a millimeter is. Mm -hmm. They don't pay too much attention to it, do they? Just walking along. It kind of becomes a roadway. Yeah, look. They're Parallel to the hair. <laughs> and now they crossed it. Yeah. Or go under. I, I think they go under yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like. Somebody just tripped over it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in the way. Well, this has worked out much better than I... I, I oh. always wonder, is it going to work? Oh, you sure it is. Yeah. Sure it is. Lisa, you knew just what to do. Look at this ghostly creature. What? Uh -huh. that, I guess it's a spring... Uh, a lot of them appear ghostly white because they've just molted. Oh. And so that their uh, cuticle, their new cuticles have not uh, tanned yet. And so they, they're just snow white. They blend in almost perfectly with the background. Mm -hmm. They're not, the shell isn't hard. All right. Yes, I guess you could say. Well, and it, it has to become pigmented too. Oh, yeah. Get your color going. And that's where the, maybe the iridescence starts coming in mm -hmm. for some of them. For some of them, yeah. There's a beetle larva. Mm -hmm. well, look, it's a fly larva. Okay. Um, it's called a moth fly larva. Ooh, look at that it fuzzy just, guy that looked like a bee without wings. Just went oh, up to the top. Oh, yeah. It was too fast to see what it was. We well, can come yeah. back on the replay. Oh, there's a little mite that has these wing-like flaps. He it looks can, like a little horseshoe crab. Yeah. He can tuck his legs under those flaps. Ah. And here comes that, the one that looks like the horseshoe crab. Mm-hmm. And there goes another beetle. That's a predatory beetle. 
Uh -huh. He feeds on other creatures. What's this right here? That? Oh yeah, that's a, a fly larva. He's raising up. He kind of looks like a planaria somehow. I don't know why. Yeah, he does. He's flat. Yeah. He's, he's rearing up. There's his head. Uh-huh. And he's a decomposer. Uh-huh. And there, yeah. 